I'm Dominic Stevens. For some time, New Zealand's been in the grip of a slowdown in consumer spending and business investment, while exports have been hunky-dory. But recently, cracks have started to emerge even on the export front. A couple of weeks ago, we downgraded our forecast for this season's Farmgate milk price to $6.90, down from $7.20. That's still not a bad number for the dairy industry, but it's not as good as it was. We're also starting to see signs of a downturn in forestry. There's been a very sudden 25% drop in international prices for logs. Thing is, the forestry sector is special. When log prices drop this rapidly, what happens is the people who own the forest just stop harvesting. And that means jobs are lost in a big hurry. Look, this is another big green light for the Reserve Bank to cut the OCR in August. And actually, it even raises the chance they could cut again down to a 1% OCR. Of course, the other big green light for cutting the OCR is inflation. This week's figures showed it remained subdued at 1.7%, and we think it's going to remain at about that level throughout this year. Now, with interest rates falling like they are, we've been saying for some time that that, combined with the cancellation of capital gains tax, is going to be a big stimulus for the housing market. We've been forecasting that house price inflation would rise from 2% now to 7% over the year ahead. Now we've had a big tick in that direction with the latest house sales figures. House sales in seasonally adjusted terms rose very sharply in June. We estimate that seasonally adjusted house sales are 10% higher than they were two months ago. That's a good sign that you're going to start to see house prices rising in the near future, opposed to flatlining on a nationwide basis as they are now. Talk to you next week.